Okay, I have been welding for over 20 years now. I have tons of certifications and tickets for welding and supervision. I've taught TIG welding classes and trained people for years. So, would it surprise you to know that I have failed and absolutely bombed welding tests before? What? So, today I want to tell you what I have learned from failing welding tests in the past and what you can do to give yourself the best chances to pass a test if you're going in to take one. By the way, I didn't fail all of my welding tests. I passed lots or whatever, you get the idea. Alright, let's go back to when I first started to learn how to TIG weld. Now, this was like 20 years ago when I was first getting going with wanting to learn how to TIG weld and get certified. I had to work being supervised by a welding supervisor who was, uh, let's just say, difficult. Now, this dude that was supervising us at the time, if anybody was having problems on testing day or not doing that well, or forbid, fail a test, you would absolutely hear it from this dude and believe me, it was not in a good way. Myself or other people would get in big trouble, you would get lectured, you get talked to about wasting the testers time while they were on site. Basically, when you left to go home at the end of testing day, you would feel like a piece of human garbage. Now, let me ask you, if you were a relatively new and young and motivated welder looking to learn, what kind of environment does this set up to somebody who's about to take a really important test? Basically, you have this dude lurking in the background, just making sure that you don't screw anything up, coming over and picking apart your work in between passes. Mm -mm, mm -mm, too stressful. For someone like me, this type of crappy reinforcement it never worked well at all. This would put so much unnecessary pressure on me and anytime I would let this pressure get to me, there was no way I was passing that test. Now, here's something that I have learned later in my career and it's kind of made all this pressure that I used to feel seem stupid. Here you go, come here, are you ready for this? If you fail a test, you can take it again. Obviously, myself and everybody out there probably watching always wants to do everything perfectly the first time we try and do it. We don't want to waste any time. We don't want to be embarrassed for failing a test. But let me ask you something. If you fail a test, what's the worst that's going to happen? Any certification that I did in my career, even if it did not go well, guess what? I got an opportunity to retake that test. Sometimes it was at a later date. Sometimes even in some circumstances, it was on the same day. Obviously in some certifications, they would involve you starting at different points of your progression. Those are all technicalities I'm not gonna get into here. But if you fail a test, they're not going to not let you be a welder anymore. You will get another chance to redo things and try again. In the meantime, while you're waiting, you can go back and practice a ton. You can reassess what happened on your testing day that didn't really go so well. Obviously everybody wants to pass a test and it sucks to go home empty handed on testing day. But believe me, it is so worth it to take the pressure off yourself. If things did not go your way on testing day, simply ask, when's the next time I can get an opportunity to try this again? And while you're waiting, get to work practicing in the meantime. Learn from your experience. Taking a welding test can put a lot of unnecessary pressure on your mind. It can take something that essentially you can do on the clock without even thinking about it multiple times with no problem. And all of a sudden on testing day, pressure makes it all the more difficult. And when you have to deal with all that pressure and it comes time to take a TIG welding test, everything that you know can go out the window and you can fail real good. <laughs> I remember a long time ago, I was practicing to take my first overhead TIG welding test. I had put in weeks of practicing after my shift every day. On coffee breaks, you bet your ass, I was buzzing away practicing on practice plate. I was making sure that all the plates and the joints were prepared perfectly, super clean stuff. I had done dozens of mock-up tests, scrutinizing every detail super close. And by all standards that I was expecting getting ready for that test, I passed the test dozens of times. And like I talked about, absolutely no problem. I was really good at it. But let me tell you, when testing day came, I showed up to work that day super nervous. And that welding position that I had practiced dozens of time on my own, I failed the shit out of that test. <laughs> like I'm talking not even close that day. So what happened? I had done this dozens of times on my own time off the clock. I had done all kinds of real world experience doing this on the clock. I absolutely crushed this practice exercise on my own time. But when it came time to do a legitimate TIG welding test, I walked in there and I failed this thing like I had never even picked up a welding torch before. <laughs> so again, with everything that I did to practice, what the heck happened? Nerves. Nerves are the worst. They can take even the most seasoned professional welder and get them off their game. Testing day can be a major stressor to a lot of really experienced people, even if they are rock solid with all of their procedures and positions. 
But when I tell you, when I went back to school for my apprenticeship to go get even further certification, I learned a few things about why this was happening and how I could fix it. Now, going through my apprenticeship program, I was taking welding tests all the time. Some of them actually serious, some of them I was just doing them kind of for experience or whatever. But long story short, I took a lot of welding tests. And when I figured out this little thing that worked really well for me, my passing rate went up big time. So what was the number one thing that always helped me pass the test really when it mattered? You taking notes, you ready for this? Basically, I stopped caring. <laughs> like we talked about on testing day, being nervous was the worst thing for me. Of course, I always took my welding test day very seriously, but let me tell you, when welding test day came around, there was one thing that I realized and really deep down knew that helped me out a ton. And this was basically that I had already put all of the actual work in. Like we talked about, I had practiced all the time. I had put a ton of extra time in running lines, running beads. I've been working in the trade for like over a decade by this point. I had tons of experience in the real world. And essentially to say, I knew pretty much what I was being tested on that day really well. Let me tell you from experience, confidence is a massive factor with welding. Realizing that you can absolutely crush whatever test is in front of you and pass it no problem. As well, like we talked about, the fact that you can actually redo the test if you need to is not a big deal. Really having confidence around these couple points that I'm talking about here is something that helped me out massively when I was going to school. I realized that whenever it was testing day, I would catch myself. I'd be walking around all sketchy. My posture was different, my mood was different. I generally just was not really that relaxed at all. Now, look at me while I was on the job site when there was no testing day going on. I was walking around whistling, playing air guitar. I was making jokes with people. I was throwing stuff at my brother while he was working. Or playing pranks on him, hiding firecrackers in his welding joints. <laughs> Safety disclaimer, people, don't do that stuff. We are idiots. <laughs> But what I'm trying to say here is take a look and see the difference of my mental state on a testing day when everything was really under pressure and a normal day when I was just walking around the job site doing things professionally like every other day. Between these two scenarios is a huge difference. That's not good. When you're taking a test day, you wanna stay relaxed. You wanna treat it like any other day. There should be no difference in your mind. I know to a lot of people this would be a big no-no, but I usually had on testing day earbuds in or some music cranked up, whatever I could do to just break the vibe and prevent myself from getting nervous or acting like it was any different of a day. As a matter of fact, I did one of the most important TIG welding tests of my entire life and I had Post Malone cranked so loud and was essentially singing the entire time I was filling up a groove weld. And I'm a pretty good singer too, by the way. As a matter of fact, the welding tester that was on site actually took me aside and asked if I was actually taking it serious. <laughs> I said, yes, of course I was. And as a matter of fact, I was probably taking it more seriously than anybody else. I was taking the opportunity to kind of get my mind relaxed and guess what? I crushed that test. When I'm taking a test or doing something important, like just in general, I want to take the time or the opportunity to put myself in the best mental state possible. This is going to help you out, keep you nice and cool, keep you relaxed. And I guarantee you, I'm gonna have a way better chance of passing a test than most people who are walking around all nervous and stressed out. So again, put the work in ahead of the time. Practice up a ton, use your experience. And on testing day, it should be literally exactly the same as any other day. Keep it loose, keep it relaxed, have fun welding. If you wanna learn the fundamentals of TIG welding stainless steel from the bottom up, this episode here is definitely the next one that you should watch. It's a full blown, completely free lesson that I actually did on YouTube here. Go watch that episode next. You're going to love it. Do a random act of kindness for a stranger today. My name is Dusty. Phil and chill. We will talk soon. Peace.